This information was used in another video for solving a problem related to the expected value of some variables. This is a bakery that sells four special cakes and each cake has a price of $32. They sell the cake for $32 and cost the store $10. So at the beginning of every day, they have four cakes. I have already answered questions related to this situation, but in this case, I will be explaining how to compute the expected revenue for the cake. What will be the expected revenue of the cake? And we know that the cake sells for $32. And I know that the expected value is given by whatever the, by this formula. The expected value of the variable, it will be the sum of the, of the value of the variables multiplied by their probabilities. So each value multiplied by each probability and add together all these products. So, but, the, in the, but in this case, the variable is the revenue. We are going to compute the average revenue or the expected revenue for the cake. So what to do? I'm going to be using this v, a small v as the revenue, the variable for the revenue. Okay, so remember that the revenue is given multiplying the price of the case multiplied by the number of case that you sell. So in this case, the revenue could be zero dollar when you don't sell anything. So remember, revenue equal the price and the number of cakes you sell. So if you sell zero cakes, so it will be zero times 32, so it will be zero dollars. So the revenue for zero will be zero. So this is one possible value. Remember also that when you are going to define a probability distribution, a discrete probability distribution, you type the values of the variables and the initial value, the the minimum value of the revenue could be zero. But maybe when you sell one cake, the revenue is $32, yes? Because it will be 32 times one, the revenue for one cake, $32. So there will be a possible value for the revenue. Another possible value for the revenue was be, will be the case in which you sell two cakes. So it will be two times 32, $64. The revenue could be 32 times Three, if you sell three K, so it will be 96. So another possible value for the revenue is 96. And finally, we have the case in which the bakery sell the four Ks that are the, the, the stocks at the beginning of the day. So the revenue will be four times 32, that will be 128. So this is the maximum value for the revenue. There is no other possible values because the store have only four Ks at the beginning of every day. So the maximum that they can, they can sell is $128. So the maximum revenue is 128. And now we have the revenue, all the possible value of the revenue. To get a probability distribution, we also need the value of the probability of each of these. And of course, it will be easy to compute this probability because I know that the probability that the revenue is zero dollar is the same that the demand is zero. So there is no person that is interested for this, uh, for this case that day. So the probability will be in that case uh, 0.03, that is the probability that the store sell zero case. There is a 0.05 probability that the store sell one cake. So in this case, the revenue will be $32 and the probability that that happen will be 0 0.05. The probability that the revenue will be $64 will be the probability that the store get or, or sell two cases. And this is 0 0.12, so it will be 0 0.12 this. The probability that the store get $96 is the same probability that the demand is three, because in this case will be the case when they sell uh, the $96, the three case that give me a revenue of $96. So that will be 0 0.24. And the difference is here at the last things, because what is the probability that the revenue is $128? Is of course, is the demand is four that day, they sell four. But if the demand is five, they also sell four because they have only four case. 
and if the demand is six, they also sell four case. So in all these cases, the three last cases, the store is gonna get a revenue of $128. So the probability that the store get $128 is the probability that the demand is four or five or six, because in that case, the, they, the store will be selling only four case. So the probability that the revenue is 128 is actually the probability of the demand is four plus the probability that the demand is five plus the probability that the demand is six. And that is 0 0.56. Adding together all these numbers, you will notice that the answer is one. But this is another way to notice if we have a probability distribution. So we have the probability distribution and we noted that the total here is one if we add together all this value. So from this, we can compute easily the expected revenue. So we have this. We have the probability distribution of the revenue. Let's put it here beside and let's find the expected value. We need to, we, we know that we need to multiply the value of the variable multiplied by the probability this by this. Let's make another column for making this multiplication. Zero times 0 0.003, this is zero. This 32 times this 0 0.05, I get 1.60. 64 times 0 0.12, I get 7.68. 96 times 0 0.24, I get 23.04. And 128 multiplied by 0 0.56, give me 7168. Adding together all these numbers is going to give me the expected value of the revenue. So I add together these five numbers and I obtain $104. So the expected value or the expected revenue or the average revenue for these stores every day is $104. Let's type here $104 as the expected revenue or the mean revenue or the average revenue. Okay, so with that, I finish the explanation of how to compute the expected revenue for the cake. Thank you.